Hi, welcome to my channel Tech Easy Learning. Today we are going to see a topic in Oracle that is inline view. Okay. So far I have created videos for view, complex view, and materialized view. I think you are aware of the types of views in Oracle. Normally in interview they will ask question about the types of views in oracle what are all the types of views in oracle you have to tell view complex view materialized view and inline view before going to the inline view i will briefly explain about the view complex view and materialized view if you got any doubt you can go through my channel i already created videos for these uh, topics okay in SQL, views are classified into four types. Already I told uh, what are all the views available. First, simple view. A view that is based on a single table and does not have a group by class or other features it is termed as simple view. Complex view means that is built from several tables. And if it includes a group by class as well as functions, okay, then it is called as complex view. Then materialized view, the view that saves both the definition and the details. It builds data replicas by physically preserving them. For handling the remote tables, normally we will create the materialized views. I have already explained the materialized view and also I have explained benefits of the materialized view and explained the difference between the view and the materialized view. Then what is inline view? Inline view that is built on a subquery in the from class which provides the temporary table and simplifies the complicated query. Instead of going for several joins, we can use this inline view. Okay. Inline view is nothing but a subquery. It is not at all an view. It is not a real view, but a subquery in the from class of the select statement. Okay. I will give you one example so that you can easily understand about the inline view. Okay, here in the from class, you can specify a table from which you want to query the data. Besides the table, you can use the subquery as shown in the following example. Select, then follow, then column list. For example, I am going to take the product table. So that we can have the column list like price, product number, etc. Okay. Then we want to do any sorting. For example, here I have given that example. Here, what I did is in the subquery, I sorted the records based on the price in descending order. That means I am going to take the top four expensive products from the product table. For example, I am having four products. I am going to take the expense uh, 10 products means out of 10, I am going to take four most expensive products. Okay. Based on this query, we can do that. Here, the inner query, that is the subquery, it selects the product number, description and price from the product table and it sorts based on the price in descending order. The external query restrict up to the row number four. Okay. There is no need to take all the expensive products. If you are having, uh, say, around uh, 100 products, out of which we are going to select only four. Okay. In this example, first the inline view, here that subquery we call it as inline view. The inline view returns all the products sorted by list prices in descending order. Okay. The subquery specified in the from class of the query is called an inline view. Because an inline view can replace a table in a query, it is also called a derived table. It is similar to subselect, which is the meaning as the inline view. Purpose I already told, it is used to simplify the complex queries by eliminating the unnecessary 
join operations or we can integrate the separate query into the single query instead of writing one or uh, more queries now uh, three queries four queries for a particular uh, problem we can mingle we can club we can uh, say condense all the queries into single query and we can avoid the unnecessary join operation also okay eliminating the unnecessary joins if required if, if it is 100 percent vector only we can go for the join otherwise we can eliminate that time now i will show the example in the sql developer so that you can easily understand And this question and this uh, inline view, most of the interviews they are asking, what about this inline view? Uh, what is inline view? Okay, this materialized view, this uh, simple view, complex, everybody knows. But suddenly, if they ask you inline view, you may not be in a position to answer. So, you have to understand what is inline view and you have to practice and by heart it. Okay. Now let we will see that example. I think you are able to see clearly now. Okay. I think it has got around five products, chocolate, biscuit, bread, jam, and butter. Okay. Jam is the costly and then butter. Okay. We will try to sort it based on the price, which is which one is high price. That is the most expensive one. Right around. See, the product jam is costly. It is around fifty rupees. Rest of the thing is already sorted properly in descending order. We are uh, we have restricted the, the external query restricted up to the row number four. So we are able to see only four records. This is the way you have to implement the inline view. It is simple only, but you have to learn how to do that exercise. Then only you can explain in the interview. If they ask you what is inline interview. Based on this example also, you can give the explanation. Okay. Kindly go through all the videos, share my videos, and kindly support my channel. Okay. I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.